If you are always chasing a calorie deficit, then it could actually be keeping you fat. And in this video, I want to explain why. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. As I said, in this video, we are talking about chasing calorie deficits for fat loss and how it could actually be keeping you fat if you are a certain type of person. And what I mean by this is you are that person that is always trying diet after diet. For years, you've been trying to stick to 1200 calories or 1400 calories or anything less than 1500 calories because you think that is how you're gonna lose your body fat. This topic of under eating and trying to lose fat from a position of chronic dieting is something I'm really passionate about because I was in that situation. I spent years lost and frustrated because all the advice out there is you need a calorie deficit for fat loss. That is true. Well, it's actually kind of not like, yes, physiologically, you need to be in a calorie deficit for fat loss, but it doesn't mean that you can't achieve that by eating at maintenance. And in some cases, that is what you need to do. I know in my case it was, and for a lot of my clients as well, when they come to me, they have been under eating, they have been eating 1500 calories or less, trying to lose fat from that position and really getting nowhere. But so much of the advice out there is go into a calorie deficit, go into a calorie deficit. You need that for weight loss. Fat loss is different. What you have to understand is you need to be in the right position to start with a calorie deficit. And if you have been maintaining your body weight on like 1200 to 1400 calories, even up to 1500 calories, for most of you, obviously this is a general video, but for most of you, if that is your starting position, then you're not ready for a calorie deficit. Now I know that's really frustrating to hear, but it doesn't mean that you can't lose your body fat, but you have to get out of that mindset of looking for a quick fix, getting sucked into the next diet or the next person that tells you you need a calorie deficit because that is keeping you in this pattern of getting nowhere. You need to break the pattern and to do that, you have to be willing to kind of change your beliefs. And that is why I start my videos with, I help you change your beliefs because that is step one to all of this. And it is really hard. That's what makes it so hard, right? Because your current beliefs are keeping you stuck. So it's very easy to get tempted into someone telling you you need a calorie deficit, even though you're hearing me telling you that you don't right now. You listen to me and you start to change that belief, but you really need to integrate it by actually doing it, right? And it takes time because you might start by eating at maintenance or eating a bit more food and get a little bit further ahead. But then you might also get some water attention or something happens where the scale jumps up a bit or you start to feel bloated and you confuse that with fat. And then you think you're going backwards, you're getting nowhere. So the next person that tells you you need a calorie deficit gets to your head and then sparks that old belief that you're trying to get rid of and you go back to a calorie deficit and you get nowhere. You have to stay the course in order for this to actually work and for that belief to fully integrate because when you stay the course and you start to make progress in the right direction, that is how you really start to believe for sure that this is what you need and it is working for you. You need to stay the course and it is so hard to do because it takes time, especially if you're starting from that point of not being ready for a calorie deficit. Like you need to get your body ready for that. And if you have spent years trying to be in a calorie deficit or trying to eat as little as possible, then it's going to take time to kind of, I don't like saying reverse all of that because it's not like you've damaged yourself or anything, but it's going to take time for your body to adapt out of that because that's what the body does, right? It adapts to whatever stimulus you give it. And so in order to move forward, you need to force your body to adapt to more food. And by increasing your maintenance calorie needs, that is where you're going to get yourself in a better position to lose body fat through a calorie deficit in the future. Again, this is what a lot of other coaches miss. You can achieve a calorie deficit by eating more food if you are in the right starting position. So if you are going from under eating and you start eating at maintenance 
And as a result of having more energy, your NEAT goes up, your thermic effect of food goes up because you're eating more. Energy that you have to put in your training results in you actually burning more calories through your training. All of those little things can actually create a calorie deficit even though you're eating more food. And you don't need to be in a calorie deficit seven days a week to actually be losing body fat. You're in a calorie deficit some days of the week, but then other days you're not. If you're weight training, getting stronger, that is how recomp occurs. Body recomposition, losing body fat, building muscle at the same time. There is a lot more to fat loss than just a calorie deficit. I'm not saying you don't need to be in a calorie deficit. There's just different ways to achieve that. If you are under eating already, if you're eating less than 1500 calories and maintaining your body weight, unless you're incredibly petite, then you are not in a good place to start with a calorie deficit because of that adaptation. And you need to learn to use the fact that your body adapts to stimulus and that's how it changes. You need to use that in your favor rather than against you. And what I mean by that is if your body has adapted to low calories, then trying to chase a calorie deficit again from that point isn't going to work for you. You need to go in the opposite direction and build your calories up build more muscle mass, allow your metabolism to adapt to more food, get used to that, spend time there, build a lot of muscle, you'll probably lose body fat in that process as well. And then when you stop recomping or when you get sick of being there, you can go into a deficit and you'll actually respond to eating less food. Your body is not going to respond to less food if you're already eating less food kind of thing. And there's only so low you can drop calories while still maintaining your health. And if you want to go in that direction of losing your health to lose body fat, then I would not recommend doing that, number one. Like you need to value your health over everything because you only get one body. A healthy body is going to allow you to really enjoy your life and have a good quality of life as you age. So it's just something I would not recommend sacrificing in order to lose some body fat, especially because you can lose body fat whilst improving your health. But if you wanna sacrifice your health through the process by eating less and less and less and less food until you're pretty much eating nothing, there's people out there that will help you do that. I am not that person. Be patient with your body. It deserves that, like you deserve that. So let it take the time that it needs to take. It's going to take a while. If you try and rush it by going back into another calorie deficit, you're actually gonna end up taking longer getting where you wanna go because you're still not gonna get there. Calorie deficit looks attractive, yes it does, but it's not the only way and it's not the way for a lot of you because if you've never spent time eating a proper amount of food, I would say 2000 calories plus a day for like, six months to a year, you need to start with a different approach. Now again, this video is very general. Yes, of course, some of you may have a maintenance that is below 2000 calories, but a lot of you could be eating a lot more food and making progress towards your fat loss goal on more food. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment or send me an email that's in the description box. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if that is the case, I will see you in the next video.